All right, thanks for joining. I wanted to go ahead and just thank you all for first of all, trusting me in this whole process. You know, I know some of you don't know me that well. Some of you do, you unfortunate souls. Um, but those of you that, that do or don't know me, hopefully you'll get to know me here over the next 16 weeks. All right, that's the goal. But I'm excited to be on this journey with you all. Today is just going to be an opportunity for me to explain how this system is going to work, how the app will more or less work. I have a separate shorter video, like a three minute to five minute long video that will explain that thoroughly. So don't worry about that. I won't go too much into the app, but just to set some ground rules as well as boundaries and expectations. So I do have to start off by saying that I know I'm friends with a handful of you in the, here in the group. I do have to go ahead and ask not to text me in regards to the program, because that is going to be my way personally to set boundaries. That way I'm not receiving texts while I'm with my family at 9 p.m. on a Sunday night, <laughs> which true story does happen more often than you know. Um, and while I love that my friends trust me with that, at the same time, I do have to set healthy boundaries, okay? So I ask for you all to respect that. To communicate with me, you can email me, you can, Message me in the app, the Trainerize app, which I will give you instructions by the end of today on welcoming you to it, downloading it, and all of that. Um, you can also reach out to me in the Facebook group. So you have a couple of different ways to, let me admit a couple of people. You have a couple of different ways to reach out to me. Just use whatever's more convenient for, use whatever's more convenient for you. Um, hold on, I'm trying to mute people. There we go. But just use whatever is more convenient for you because I'm real big on communication. Just try not to text me on my personal phone, okay? All right, so that's the expectations. Those are the boundaries. The app, you will receive, like I said, a welcome email by the end of today that will welcome you to the email. If you are a previous client of mine that I have trained with in the Trainerize app, you'll just get a, an email notifying you that your account's been re-update it and go from there. Not much to do. In the app, you can customize your profile. I do recommend at least putting your face. <laughs> that way, it's honestly easier for me uh, because it does come up with messages. You know, if I get a message from one of you, it will notify me that I have received a message from someone, but it is kind of nice to see your face along with it. I am a visual learner. That's just how my brain works uh, after some head injuries and things like that. So let's use that to my advantage here <laughs> and it's pretty easy to update your your profile and things like that um in the app i will also say that your training you will get it by monday morning depending on the two or four week cycle that we're going through so you'll always get it every monday morning depending on if you're in a cycle or not okay this program you should get it by sunday is when it should be triggered um, but at the latest you will get it monday morning that way you can see but just to let you know, when you look in the calendar in the app, you will see things that are outlined on, you know, what you're doing on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and so on. Please know those aren't necessarily set in stone. Those are honestly just there to be put on your calendar. That way it holds you a little bit more accountable to the whole situation. Okay. Um, hey, oh, hey Lisa. Um, so, you can move some workouts around. However, with a group program, sometimes you're not able to, okay, versus customized one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do. So the custom one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do with my clients, you can literally move your workouts around on your calendar with the, the flick of your thumb a little bit more easily than you can in a group program. However, to get around with that, get around that rather, you can select what program or what workout you're going to do from a drop-down list. Again, I'll, I'll give you a separate, a separate video on this that's about three to five minutes long. It's a lot more easier to use, um, a lot more easier to convey rather how to use the app in that uh, video. But that's pretty much it about expectations, boundaries, the app, what to expect in the next 24 hours, just to get that, you know, that welcome email about the app. Now I'm gonna talk about equipment real quick because there's definitely, a variety of bands, which is why I asked what kind of bands everyone had in the questionnaire. Um, now there are a couple of different options here. I do have, you know, I have a couple of varieties. Now in the email that I sent you all, I did include a link to like super bands. They're basically large loops. These are fine. These are totally fine. 
The other option is, I mean, I'm a big fan of the Wadfitters brand. No, I don't get paid to tell you all that. <laughs> they don't even know that I'm referring you to them. I like these bands with the handles. Again, these are under $50. They're actually under $40. They're $39. Um, you do have the door anchor, which I really recommend, as well as the ankle straps and the handles. So I really like these. I also like these because they're stackable. So once you grow out of one band, you can add another band to it just to increase the intensity. So those are definitely my favorites. However, I will go ahead and say there is a caveat. Uh, one or two of you, off the top of my head, only have the mini bands. So the mini bands aren't the super bands, they're the complete opposite. They're a little bit smaller, okay? So they're mini, <laughs> imagine that. Um, those bands, however, I love them. I love them especially for activation exercises. They're not going to be ideal for a wider range of movement, okay? You can't necessarily do, for example, presses if you don't have dumbbells and you only have mini bands, for example. The way to get around that, if you don't want to buy another set of bands is, and you don't have dumbbells, you can use good old dirt, detergent containers, things like that. After you use the detergent in the container, you can fill it up with play sand, fill it up with water, whatever you want. Play sand costs about $5, I believe, for a huge bag of it at your favorite hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, just all depends on really what you want. You can use these, you can use water bottles. However, if you do use water bottles, make sure that they're bottles you don't love and that you maybe plan on using later on because they might get a little gross. Um, but you can fill them up with sand, which is a really good one. Uh, or you can just buy some dumbbells. Now, dumbbells in the area, if you're in the Denver metro area, they're a little bit easier to come by now that we're not in the March to June pandemic entry of the world. Um, supplies are a lot better. You can definitely check out Fitness Gallery. Fitness Gallery here in the Denver Metro and Boulder area are really good. Go ahead and admit somebody else, hold on. Um, Fitness Gallery, as far as I know, they're not also gouging their prices or anything like that. So they're actually still reasonably priced. Rep Fitness is another local one. However, because of the recent increase in viral, uh, you know, cases here in the Denver metro area, they are closing down Rep Fitness and Rage Fitness for pickup. So they're just trying to keep their staff safe. How long that's going to last, I do not know, but Fitness Gallery is still open, so just a heads up. Um, that's if you wanna get any dumbbells. Now I know that dumbbells can get a little bit crazy because, you know, a lot of questions I've been getting so far, how, what weights should I get? Uh, I really recommend something light, first of all. So a set that's really light, Honestly, you know, some of the activation exercises that I'm going to have you all doing, um, especially here in the first few weeks, is going to require a lighter weight than you're used to. Uh, it's definitely not an ego type of lifting or anything like that. So I really want to focus on shoulders, hips, knee health, ankle health, just to let you know, since those are really high, high contact points for us as cyclists, especially mountain bikers. Um, but honestly, you don't really need a light pair of dumbbells for a lot of those things. You can even use heavy cans from your kitchen. I know it sounds super lame, but trust me, you're going to feel it. These are tiny muscles in your rotator cuff area. It doesn't really require a lot of weight, okay? Um, so heavier cans, that's an option. And then in terms of how heavy you should get with your dumbbells, that's going to depend. And I hate to throw out that answer because it's kind of an annoying answer, but it honestly depends on how long you've been lifting, what your build is, what your comfort level is, what your medical history is in terms of injuries and things like that, what you're able to really lift overall. In an ideal world, you will be progressing the weight as time goes on. That's going to be the optimal outcome, right? The other thing that you can do if you don't wanna do dumbbells, backpacks. You know, a backpack can easily be loaded up with plenty of books, make it as heavy as you want, obviously not too heavy for you to lose form, but there are ways of, that you can go about this, okay? Now, if you, those of you that are using the barbell plan, you do have to have a barbell and some plates. I know there's a couple of you. Uh, one of you, I just need to make sure that you do indeed have a barbell um, and that you didn't mean to click on dumbbell. But other than that, that's pretty much the equipment. But I will say, like, don't hesitate to use stuff around the house, you know? I mean, it sounds silly, but these are kind of unique times and 
we kind of need to use what we have, right? Instead of kind of going crazy and spending even more money. Um, but generally speaking, you know, if you have an adjustable set of dumbbells, that's an ideal, an ideal situation because then you can adjust the weight up to whatever you actually need. Um, but then other than that, you know, I'd say a lighter set. So even a heavy set of cans, like I said earlier, um, generally like a five or 10 pound set, and then maybe up to like a 20 to 25 pound set is a good stair step, all right? But ultimately, like the bands, I really can't recommend them enough. Um, they're fantastic and they're just so affordable, uh, so much more affordable rather. So equipment wise, that is that. The big thing that I ask, and I'm going to give you some pointers for some of these movements in the videos. If you look at everything visually in the application and the workout app that I'm going to be sending you all, uh, there are demo videos that either yours truly is demoing or another coach is demoing. Now, there are going to be also some tips because we each learn differently. So you can watch the video. You can also read the tips too if you're more of a reader. So it all just depends on how you best learn, but use whatever works for you. No judgment here. And I won't know if you watch the videos or not. But in the demo videos, they will show you kind of points of performance. Ultimately, no matter what movement you're doing, the biggest point of performance that I will tell you is having some sort of neutral spine, okay? When I say neutral spine, I just don't want you to uh, do this, this number, which I know a lot of us, especially those of us who are, are ladies here in the group, we tend to have a really lordotic spine or a, a curvature in our lower spine. I know I do. Um, so just try to, tuck the ribs down just a little bit, engage that core, and then go through that range of motion, okay? That's going to be the number one thing that you really need to focus on. That just helps you reduce your risk of injury overall. But other than that, you know, generally speaking, a lot of this stuff is just going to be dependent upon your, your personal range of motion, okay? If you have any pain, discomfort, let me know. Shoot me a message. If you don't want to share it in the Facebook group, that's fine. Just shoot me a message in the Trainer Eyes app, and we can kind of take care of it from there. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've talked about equipment. I've talked about everything. That's uh, in terms of mobility. I am going to be giving you kind of a general warm up, uh, and again, it's just a general warm up just to get through range of motion with your joints and things like that. You can use it. You can take it or leave it. It's totally up to you. It is optional. I am not going to be dropping that into the calendar. That is going to be something that's available from the pull-down menu in the app. Um, but there is going to be also mobility. So mobility is just really helping you, excuse me, kind of get through those aches and pains. You know, all of us might have like spastic muscles or something like that that might be impacting us. And we might feel it maybe especially in the morning when we wake up or when we go to bed at night, we're each different, okay? That's where I do recommend having a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. Lacrosse balls can be pretty hard, however, so I don't really recommend them to be the end all be all, especially if you're new to mobility. Um, but I do recommend like a tennis ball is a really good option. So are yoga balls. So this is a peanut, um, but these are just softer, as you can see. Even if you just have one of these, this is great. Now, if you don't have one of these, this is fine. Don't worry about it. You can even wrap a towel around something that could be round, you know? I'm sure that there are plenty of bike tools that maybe you can wrap a towel around just to kind of soften it a little bit. Um, but I do recommend some sort of mobility implement. I do have the orb as well, it's softer and larger. Um, but that will help just in case you get any, any tightness that could be limiting your range of motion. And what's really cool is some of the stuff that I will be showing you, don't worry, most of it will be like stretches or wind down, like unwind flows is what I usually call them. But there will be stuff in there that will include a lacrosse ball or tennis ball. Okay, those are of course optional. If there's something that you don't necessarily have equipment for, maybe you're trying to find a substitute, reach out to me. I can offer a substitute for you or you can just skip it all together, okay? Because there are going to be stretches included. That way, if you don't have equipment, you don't feel like you're missing out on something, okay? So I've talked about all of that. Um, the biggest thing I will say for bands, based on what the couple of, first couple of weeks of programming looks like for you, is get used to, so remember how I mentioned that, you know, some of the, the bands that I mentioned have a, or that I recommend it rather have a door anchor. 
get used to where to put the store anchor. I just have to tell you safety wise, <laughs> I want everyone to be safe because I don't want you guys hurting yourself at home because that's just awful. So bands are great, but you can also smack the hell out of your face. So let's try to avoid that. Um, the door that you're going to be putting the door anchor on should not be able to open out towards you. It should be uh, locked in terms of not being able to open towards you, okay? If there's someone on the other side of the band door, please just let them know. I know, I just wanna go ahead and tell you all a safety measure because I have seen it done before to myself as well as other clients, so just a heads up. Uh, the door anchor, just make sure it's nice and secure in the door. I will recommend right now over the next couple of days, you all at home thinking about where to put your bands at, at chest level. So try to find a door that's friendly for that. Or you can also, if you have the super bands, if you have a, a banister or something that you can tie it around, that's an option too. So chest level, a higher level, that's going to be about, if you were to raise your arm all the way, maybe about five inches lower than that. So a higher level for the door anchor, as well as a low anchor. And low anchor should be about knee height, okay? So think knee, chest-ish, and then up high, okay? Because there are going to be some rotational stuff that I do have programmed for you all, because we rotate on our bike a lot, especially for those of us mountain biking, right? Okay, I'm done talking. I'm gonna open up the floor. So if you have any questions, Go ahead, unmute yourself, and jump on in. Ask away. If we don't have the barbell, um, what do we do? Like, do we really need that right now? Because I, like, I have access to the rec center, and I can do it there for now. Um, that's the only thing that I am wondering about. Oh yeah, because there's two different programs. So there's like a dumbbell only, dumbbell and bands, and body weight basically. Uh -huh. And then there's the barbells. So are you oh, saying okay. you don't have the barbell, like the actual like long barbell? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you're fine. You're totally okay, fine. Okay, sweet. I yeah. didn't know if I should buy one or what? No, it's honestly, it's, you know, I'm a barbell junkie personally, but that's only because I'm a nerd and I've just been doing this for too long. But you don't need a barbell. I mean, honestly, okay. um, it's not necessary. You know, if anything- okay. And, and the other thing too that I wanted to add is if you have dumbbells and bands, especially the longer bands or even like the super bands, that's gonna be a fantastic way to also add the intensity or add some sort of resistance, yeah. extra resistance to the dumbbell because you can add a band to the okay. dumbbell. There's ways to do that. And I'll show you all how to do that. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. So like the, so the workouts will have either like a dumbbell or a barbell one. Yeah, so I actually created two different programs all together. Oh, nice, okay. Else. Yeah, so you won't even see what the barbell option is, but now if you're curious, you can always ask me and I can just tell you. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Sweet, awesome. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead. Oh, pardon me. Um, could you link the Wadfitters uh, set that you have? I'm looking on Amazon, there's a bunch of different kinds. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I can definitely send you the link if you want, because I know, Olivia, you're on the Facebook group. I'll send it out to the Facebook group. That'd be great. Um, yeah. yeah, I was thinking I could just use my TRX for a lot of those exercises, which I probably can, but I want to have the bands as well. TRXs, I have mine right here too. That was kind of my backup, but I didn't want to overwhelm people. I just had it here in case anyone asked. I love the TRX. I'm a TRX certified trainer. Love the TRX. I think it's uh, such an excellent tool. For those of you who are watching, um, if you don't have a TRX, don't worry, you don't have to get one. <laughs> but if you did ever want to add something to your home gym, I love the TRX because it's so much harder than you think it is, <laughs> especially when you start to do a lot of core workouts that are on the TRX. It actually kind of makes you feel a little weak. Um, Michelle, I know you mentioned you have a TRX too. Uh, but should I get the bands too? Honestly, I do really recommend having the bands just because they are so affordable. They're less than $40, these wad fitter ones. Um, and there's, there are ones available on Amazon. The biggest thing is just to make sure that they have handles and that they have an anchor point because sometimes you, not everyone has something to kind of wrap, wrap the band around. I do recommend, you know, if you are looking for anchors around your house to wrap the bands around, like I talked about a moment ago, a heavy table is going to be really good. Like a heavy dining room table, that's really good for kind of like high, upper waist to, you know, knee to ankle anchor points. Um, but yeah, any other questions? 
I just want to let you guys know, you can Google the uh, coupon for that and it, there's a 25% off. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that reminder. I really appreciate it, Kayla. So mm -hmm. yeah, 20 to 25% off uh, for wad hitters. They are a small family business business rather. I think they're based out of like Virginia or something. I can't remember. Um, so you are supporting a small business along the way. They do, of course, outsource their materials, but but yeah, Olivia, she loves a coupon. I know, who doesn't love a coupon? And they're really great. They do send you maybe two emails a week if you do sign up for the emails. You can always unsubscribe if you want, but they're pretty cool because they even include like a workout on Wednesdays. So that's kind of cool. If you want it to do a workout other than my workout. Jessica, yep, no worries. Thanks for joining. Ciao, thanks for, thanks for hopping on. Um, okay. Well, we have a few more minutes. Anybody else got any other questions? I can tell you a little bit about, about how things will progress. That way you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So my philosophy, I'm really big on let's get you stable as hell because this is kind of the problem that we can see often with, you know, programs that I myself have done as well as programs, you know, that I've just seen over the years. Um, they kind of jump in too soon it's kind of what I call like the sexy Instagram workouts that you see where people are like jumping and then they're doing like handstand pushups and then they're just doing crazy shit basically. Sometimes those can be a little bit of a recipe for an injury. <laughs> and I personally have a philosophy as a, as a coach to keep you all healthy and biking and living a life without any injury. So I'm real big on stability, core, really building on those as a baseline then, you know, building on strength, you're still building on strength, even in the beginning, building on strength, getting really strong, as strong as you possibly can, especially those first eight weeks. Then after that, you have that strong core, that strong, stable base. So you have a really good foundation if you're looking at things as a, as a pyramid, right? Um, but then, you know, from there, really train up the ante a little bit and increase muscular endurance. This is when you're going to be a little bit more high rep, lower weight things that are going to be a little bit more exhausting because guess what? Mountain biking, it totally does that, right? Uh, like long climbs. This is where we're getting those legs used to being in that position, getting your legs used to basically pumping out time and time again for a duration of time. So this is when, when we get into that phase of the training for muscular endurance, we will start to do like basically uh, AMRAPs, as many reps as you possibly can in 30 seconds in a minute than doing it for, you know, no more than usually 90 seconds just for safety. Um, and then building on it from there. From muscular endurance, you start to also include power movements, especially those last few weeks. You really wanna get as powerful as possible because man, spring is starting. That's when you want to be ready and you wanna feel as best as you possibly can by the time you get on, on the bike for hopefully your spring races and things like that, fingers crossed, okay? So that's, that's the philosophy that I usually go for. Um, not usually, it's what, that's the philosophy I always go for, depending on the actual athlete. And then of course, as you advance, then you're able to have all of those elements present in your training at the same time. Cool. cool. Questions about that? No? Okay. Excellent. Any other questions? No. Hey Jen, this is Kathy. I um, hey, Kathy. had to join late. I apologize. Another call. You're all good. Late. You can catch the recording. Um, You're good. Yes, I totally will. Um, question: I've been um, thinking about creating like a gym space in the basement over top carpet, and I've tried throwing it out to the question out to a couple of groups and haven't really gotten any good responses. But um, I want to protect the carpet, and I don't know if any of you guys have done that like where you get a mat based system and put it over carpet and has anybody done that uh, utilize like plywood or something in between um yeah because yeah, i right now my roommates and i are all kind of either working out outside on the patio or in the living room and yeah just wanted to be able to utilize the basement now <laughs> hey i get it plus it'll be a temperature control when it when the snow does finally hit I will have yes. to say, I do love the long fall that we're getting finally in Colorado because this is my favorite season. And sometimes it's always kind of uh, cut short because of snow. So yes. I personally have not known of anyone to do it over the carpet, but I will say, you know, having a solid base like a plywood would probably be the best situation just because depending on the actual thickness of the carpet and the give of the carpet, it will create a little bit of an unstable base. So 
um, which is maybe a good thing as long as you're careful. And I mean, as long as you're not snatching a barbell, that's like, you know, 150 pounds, you should be okay. Um, because honestly, that will actually help a little bit with your instability work and things like that. So you're going to inadvertently get some core instability work with that, Kathy. <laughs> so kudos. But I, I personally don't know of anyone, but I will say, you know, just based on kind of what I've seen in terms of like the thickness of mats and whatnot, um, you might be best off doing like a, a, just like a six by six or um, most of the most of the rubber mats that are thicker, I will say get a thicker one. So I would recommend about three quarter thickness. You can't really get much thicker stall, stall mats than that. You can get these at tractor supply stores, uh, especially since Rep Fitness here in Denver is not allowing pickups, and that's the only thing that they're that they <laughs> that they that they actually need that I actually need. I need two more stall mats, but um. I do recommend like a tractor supply store. They're usually about $40 and they're each about four by six. So okay. maybe pick a space where you can do like four stall mats. That's usually ample space for most gym settings, right? Like anywhere between four to six um, stall mats and then maybe getting enough plywood to put underneath of that. Now, that being said, the stall mats will slide a little bit on top over time. will slide a little bit on top of whatever surface you do put them on so don't think that you're doing don't think that you're doing anything wrong um just know that you know they're they're going to move just with the nature of of how stall mats are okay okay cool thanks but yeah yeah but i'd say the thicker mat would be better because you can get thinner ones i just don't know if it's going to give you enough of a, a solid surface to really help so right yeah okay awesome yeah and hey kudos congrats <laughs> Thanks. This, this sounds silly, but the like little kids stores, they have the play mats that are really thick like that. And I've yeah. used those before. Sweet. Do they just and they fold like, out? And they're cute too. They're like all colored and you know, they have like little puzzle pieces. I mean, it's dorky, but I have two kids. So that's what <laughs> I use. And they, they work, they work really good to protect your carpet. So, so they're like a puzzle piece to put together. Kind Taylor? of. And, and yeah. they're cheaper and they're okay. thick. So they Ooh, work. Okay. Okay. It's, and you would find them at carpet? Like, yeah, and you would find them at like Toys R Us or online, like any kid. They're called play mats, like, like you know what I mean. And then okay. they puzzle piece together. So then it's just it's just something different. You know, it's a little bit cheaper. And do those actually like stay together? Because I do have the puzzle piece ones, and we mm -hmm. actually are using them outside on the patio for like when we have to get down on our knees or yeah. our bumps. Um, but I always just assumed that they would break apart on top of carpet. Um, so what I did, I just duct taped them on the bottom. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> it's brilliant. like everything is like ghetto rigged for me. Brilliant, no. though. I love that's it. Brilliant. Are you, yeah, I was just going to say, that's genius. And then you can put those little rubber mats on the bottom to hold it still. Okay. I don't know. Right. It's all, it's all ghetto rig stuff, whatever, but it works. Yeah, I totally and see And it's those. cheaper. Yeah. 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 Cool. It looks like they're about $1.19 per square foot, roughly, just from like a simple, sorry, I'm, I just started like a simple search. Well, that's yeah, cool. I, yeah. Like, and I think you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap, but that's, I think where I got them a long time ago. Awesome. But, but anyway, just look into it. It's a creative way to be, to maybe do it differently, I guess, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kayla. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully that helps, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thank you guys. And I expect a picture of your finished gym when you get it figured out and let me know <laughs> if you ever need any, like, cause I actually just outfitted our garage gym. I finally, I finally won that with my partner. Nice. Um, cause I've been wanting a garage gym for, I don't know how many years. <laughs> uh, but let me know if you have any questions about anything, cause I've done a fair amount of research just to save you time. Oh, okay. awesome. Cool. Hold on. All right, any other questions? I have seven more minutes because I only have the free version of Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Well, I will post, I clap a lot and I apologize. I know that's probably really loud in your ears. Um, I will be posting the recording just in case you want to catch anything. If you have any questions about, you know, any of the stuff that I like gave tips about, like using laundry detergent bottles, water bottles, things like that, play sand, bands or whatnot, let me know if you need any clarity. I am so stoked to get started with you all. Again, by the end of today, you will get the invite to join the Trainerize app. I'm gonna get everything set up. 
Um, I went ahead and sent out emails if anybody was missing any waivers or questionnaires this morning. So thank you for those of you who have already completed those if you're missing those. But I'm really excited. You know, this is going to be something that um, I've tested, honestly, for like up to the past three years with a handful of clients, but especially like one particular client um, who's a gym rat. And I know a couple of you uh, know her and have been referred to me from her. So I appreciate that. If you know Anne, big shout out to Anne. Um, but, you know, it's something that I, I just love. I just love making people feel stronger on the bike, you know, because here's, here's the thing. Like I personally, I love mountain biking. I am not an advanced rider, however, <laughs> you know, um, I don't leap off of six foot tall shit and things like that. I'm not advanced by any means. However, that strength that I have really makes me feel like I'm like a maybe beginner advanced, <laughs> like, you know, the start of advanced now, um, just because it makes you feel so much more stable on the bike. And when you're going, especially over technical stuff, you just feel a lot more capable and a lot more able to do things. Um, and I will say like from a personal injury standpoint, I know a few of you know that I almost blew my shoulder out last year, uh, almost dislocated it. And honestly, the only reason I feel like I didn't dislocate is because of strength training. And also I do, I am fairly hypermobile, so I will go ahead and say that. Um, but strength training really like saved me from having just in a, a catastrophic, um, injury, especially with, with that, because it was with my neck and my shoulder last year. So I can't say enough about strength training and just how important it is, especially for those of us in the group who are getting older, which is all of us, <laughs> you know, we're each getting older. Uh, I know for me, I'm 41 and I can't tell you how amazing strength training is, especially for us ladies, just for our bone health and overall health. Okay. But let me know if you have any questions. I will drop the link to the wad fitters bands with handles for you. And don't forget Kayla mentioned that there is a, is a, uh, a 20 to 25% off coupon, especially if you sign up for their, their emails. Um, so that'll save you some money, but you can't beat it for under 40 bucks. Uh, they're really good. Right. Hey, they say they're sold out on their website, by the way. This is what happens when I send too many people to the website. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for letting me know, Joel. Crap. Yeah. All right. right. They must have just sold out. I, I was going to buy some, and then they said they're sold out. Well... I will find another one because there is another brand that I do recommend that is on Amazon. So let me search that a little bit and then I'll post it on the Facebook group. And well, Joel, I'll send you your story because I know you're, you're not on Facebook. Judgment free yeah. zone, buddy. Judgment free zone. <laughs> Judgment free zone. Um, and actually, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you in an hour and a half. I'm just going to give you my extra set that I have. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> yeah, winning. Yeah. <laughs> this is your birthday present. <laughs> I, I bought an extra set just in case someone was like, I don't have anything. It was like my backup. Um, because I bought two when I bought one for me <laughs> like about six weeks ago. So That's congratulations, funny. you basically get an early birthday present, buddy. <laughs> oh, Jessica took the last set. Oh, Jessica <laughs> took the last set. So <laughs> she <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's all Jessica's fault. <laughs> well, maybe I need to go back there and I can try it or you. Or oh, I'll wait. Man. That's oh, well. too funny. That's too funny if they sold out. Man, sorry, buddy. Well, don't worry. I'll see. I, I shouldn't be a problem to, to get any. I mean, okay. I am so. Um, it says that they. Here, hold on. It's letting me add to cart. Is it? What? I did the little, the band ones with like the little rubber band looking ones with the handles. Is that the right thing? Yeah, $39.99. Yeah, wad fitters. Yeah, okay, and by the way, the code is 25 for me. Discount code. Wait. Oh, wait, there's a different one. Hold on, I might have actually. They might have two. Yeah, they might have a couple of different ones. Uh-huh. I just I'm too that. short. I can't see over. I have a second screen and I can't see over my laptop because I'm at my standing desk right now. So I can't see everything. But anyways, we'll we'll talk. Ah, um there they are. 
I got okay, you. Okay, good. Sorry. You got it. Okay, good. Well, fine. I'm, I'm going to take mine back because I actually bought the extra one as a gift for a giveaway that I'm going to give later. But don't worry. <laughs> no, no, cat's in the bag. I'm screwed. You all are going to hear something. It's basically something for you all to give. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'll tell you all about it later in the Facebook group. Um, but anyways, I don't want to ramble anymore. But I want to thank you all again for joining. I am so stoked. Keep your eyes peeled by the end of the day today for uh, for your your email welcoming you to Trainerize, and we can I can answer any questions on Facebook or via email or through the app. Okay, I hope you all have a beautiful Friday. It's Friday, and get excited for Monday, the start of a new adventure. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Yay! See ya. <laughs> Bye, Joel. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>